We got three situations that happened just recently. Here's the game that we're playing today in this segment. You know, was the truck driver in the wrong or were the Samaritans in the wrong for calling the cops on these truck drivers or was the truck driver that did the situation in the wrong? Mother truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? But we're getting a lot of people calling the police and calling the trucking companies on these truck drivers. You know, some deserve it, some don't. My truckers, comment down below. Let me know what you feel about this. On Tuesday, April 9th, now this happened in Ontario, right? Said that a citizen called a report a tractor trailer with a cracked trailer frame. Now, the tractor trailer was hauling a 48,000 pound of steel coil. And when you see this frame, you're going to be like, dang, that thing is cracked. You know, uh, from it, anyone that knows trailers well, is this something that could have been caught on a pre-trip because this truck driver was put out of service and his company was called on. So definitely got points on his record for this. Or is this something that potentially could have happened after he did his pre-trip? But my truckers look at this, you know, as a Samaritan, was this uh, person in the wrong for calling? Uh, someone wrote here, a Stevens transport uh, truck driver, uh, disgusting um, mother effer left the dog to walk in its own crap and poured uh, pee next to it for the dog to drink. That dog deserves better than you. Company called. Normally, I would say something to the driver directly about stuff, but when it comes to treatment of animals, I would probably end up in jail for attacking the dude. You do not mistreat animals. You know, mud truckers, what are your thoughts about this? Uh, you know, people that have animals in uh, in their trucks, man. Uh, I know there's a lot of dog lovers, animal lovers that love their dogs. You know, someone doing this like this, come on, you can't treat a dog like this. But mud truckers was the driver in the wrong for calling on the company, you know, uh, much is coming down below. It's hard to a little bit about this situation right here, but it says that the chief of transportation was getting a lot of complaints out in New York. It says, we hear the complaints from the residents about the commercial vehicles parked in residential areas. So what did they do? They deployed four barnacle devices in Queens for these violators parked in the residential area. Thank you for all that's involved. You know, uh, this one, I do have an opinion about, right? They definitely need more parking for truck drivers. And it's not like truck drivers just want to block someone's house, but there's no parking anywhere, especially in New York, right? It's, it's one of those things where, you know, these drivers, they, they need to give a pass. You know, these drivers are delivering goods to their city and this is how they're treated. Oh, my truckers comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? But yeah, just, I thought it was interesting today that just so many situations today where Samaritans, people, truck drivers, they're calling on companies and calling the police on truck drivers. You know, some situations I think are in the right. Others, I think like this barnacle situation, definitely in the wrong. My truckers comment down below.